Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! We got the Earth Harp, so this guy's gonna give us some Master Materia. Three of them! Alright! I don't even have to spend all that time grinding for AP to get that stuff now. Awesome! We get a Master Magic Materia. Every magic spell in the game, every summon spell in the game, and, well, not every command in the game, but a lot of them. Not the ones I really care about, except for Mime. That's the only one I really care about with that. So, it's a second Mime, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, well, that's everything I came for here. So, now let's get ready to take on Ruby Weapon. Okay, we're here at the Gold Saucer area to investigate that red thing coming out of the sand there. So, let's take a look at our setup before fighting it. Uh, now, for this one, I actually want Kate Sif and Sid, or whoever my other two party members are, to already be dead to begin with. Because if you try fighting it beforehand, then it'll remove two of your party members from the battle permanently, which, well, then you'll be screwed. Because it might be the one that you actually care about, which, for me, would be Cloud. So for the equipment setup, for this one, I want a ribbon, because I think he can confuse me or... Something like that. Whatever. I forget exactly what it was. Otherwise, everything's the same as before there. Now, for my Materia setup, we can equip quite a few Materia. Although, I don't know if I necessarily need all of them, but I have it there. So, we got Mime, W Summon this time, W Item, then Knights of the Round linked to MP Turbo, which will boost the power of Knights of the Round, as well as... Uh, it costs a little more MP, but... It only maxes out at like 255, so since we're already spending 250, pretty good for Knights of the Round there. And then we got Master Summon linked to HP Absorb, which will also affect Knights of the Round whenever I cast that. So I'll still get the MP Turbo and the HP Absorb effect when I cast Knights of the Round. So that's pretty nice. So let's get in our airship and see what that thing is. Uproot yourself! Oh! It's one of those weapons! This is Ruby Weapon. Perhaps the most lame of all the weapons. This one will be pathetically easy. Now, if two of your party members are already gone, either from being removed from battle by Ruby Weapon or by being dead, then he digs his tentacles into the ground. Which we want him to do. So let's use those last two hero drinks on myself there. Now, if I don't take too much damage, I might decide to mime. No, I took too much. Okay, never mind. Hades, Knights of the Round. Let's take a look at Hades here. Now, as you already know from linking it to added effect, Hades can inflict a multitude of status ailments on the target. I'm not really concerned about the HP damage. The status ailment that I'm really concerned about with Hades is Paralysis, which for some godforsaken reason, they forgot to make Ruby Weapon immune to Paralysis. <laughs> so all you gotta do is cast Hades on Ruby Weapon, he's paralyzed, can't really do a whole lot then. And then Knights of the Round will actually deal the damage that I care about. So that's, that's really all there is to it. We don't need four hero drinks this time around. Two of them are good enough. But, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Hades, Knights of the Round, Mimit. He really shouldn't be able to touch me that much. Just in case, though, I got HP Absorb. It doesn't reduce my stats at all, but, you know, just in case. So let's, unfortunately, I can't get haste in on myself because that would break a chain there, a, a mime chain there. I have to push the pram a lot. No, no, not really. Not a very good picture of Hades there. I thought Hades was like a, like, well, the devil, basically. I, I didn't think he, like, had the cloak going and everything. Not that there's anything wrong with the cloak look, but still, you know. 
Oh, yeah, what am I doing? Fast forward! Yeah, this battle... Unfortunately, there's really not much to say about it. I mean, I've got him, basically. <laughs> now, I want to wait for Ruby Weapon to uh, unparalyze here, because he'll, he'll lose it somewhere in the middle of my third summon and then hit me with Ultima, which would be really bad. Okay, now I don't care about Ruby Flame. He'll damage me and then we'll just do this all over again. So basically every two summons, you want to wait for him to attack you so that way paralysis wears off. Because what would have happened otherwise is I would have cast Hades and it wouldn't have re-paralyzed him. Then sometime in the middle of casting Knights of the Round, he would have then unparalyzed and then uh, countered with Ultima, which would kill me if I don't evade it with Mistile. So, yeah, that's no good. That's why I have the HP Absorb Materia. But yeah, otherwise, just, wow, this, this guy is pretty pathetic. This guy is supposed to be one of the hardest bosses in the game. Game designers, take note. Do like you did in Final Fantasy IV. Give the vast majority, if not all bosses, immune, immunity to all status ailments. You should not be able to pick apart your bosses with status ailments, as I will be doing in Final Fantasy V. They, it's quite ridiculous in Final Fantasy V. It's just, uh, you'll see. <laughs> Don't worry, viewers. Wait for him to attack and then resume miming. Cook up some nice paralyzing stew for you. I guess the steam is just too hot for him to handle, but even though he's in a desert and everything. Those two tentacles in back really don't do a whole lot. I think, like, I saw them once, uh, what is it? What did they do to me before? They, like, stole some of my MP or something like that, I don't know. But they're not really going to be attacking me that much. They're just there to prevent me from running from the battle, I guess. It's good to have MP Turbo and Knights of the Round, but unfortunately I just couldn't do that the last time. Because, well, I had to worry about Air Tom Storm. This guy, not too much I'm worried about on his attacks. Two more ought to do. We're almost there. Like Emerald Weapon, he has a million HP, and I think he has similar rewards, although... Well, we'll see. Oh! Oh, right, I'm not worried about that. I was like, what are you doing? Are you going to... Um, no, I guess he's not going to attack me. I guess he just likes feeling me with his tentacles. Hey, as long as he doesn't start hitting on me, hey, that, that's all good. You know, just... You know, just keep those tentacles away from me, man. King Arthur don't like taking no sass. Oh. Okay. I thought I needed one more. Well, there you are. Killed another boss with two party members dead. Yay! We gained another level for Materia that I really don't care about that much. And for defeating Ruby Weapon, we get the Desert Rose. All right. Well then, let's head back to Calm to put that to use. That's, yeah, that's all the optional boss battles that I can fight. There's still one more thing I want to do before taking on Sephiroth. But I'm not going to have enough time to do that, so let's just head back here and give the Desert Rose to the Calm Traveler. Yeah, sorry that battle wasn't more epic. Uh, what can I say, viewers? I mean, just paralyze him with Hades and... Oh, well. Hey, we got a rose from you that was from a desert, I guess. A chocobo. 
What chocobo? Oh, you mean I didn't have to go through four hours of effort to get that freaking gold chocobo? Well, actually you did, because practically in order to defeat Ruby Weapon, you needed the gold chocobo to get Knights of the Round, but... Oh, well. So now we have another gold chocobo, I guess. Do I get to name it? Okay, well, I can't think of anything clever to name it, so whatever. Don't worry about it. That's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Next time, we'll be visiting an old friend and then taking on Sephiroth for the final battle to save the planet. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.